One of the things that I really like in the morning is when I go down to pray, Sally likes to join me, kind of like she's doing right now. I walk down the stairs and she'll follow behind me, sort of let me get situated and then she comes into my lap. She likes to get patted a little bit and then eventually she kind of curls up and lays down and eventually falls asleep. And I don't know why, but I just, there's just something about that that really brings a lot of joy to my heart. You know, I'm sitting there with Jesus in the tabernacle. I have my kitty with me and I'm just spending time with the Lord. How we come to open up to God. It's going to happen in a lot of different ways. I look at my own life and sometimes it's sitting in the chapel with Sally or by myself many of the time. Sometimes it's just when I'm driving and having that conversation with the Lord. Or it could be, you know, hiking or on the mountaintop skiing and just taking in the beauty of all that God has created. But through it all these different ways, it might be just taking time to be with my family and friends and just that sharing opens me to the presence of God in my life. It might be sharing stories or just being with them. There's so many ways that we can truly come to encounter the reality of God in our life that is just so powerful. Or sometimes not. Sometimes the way that God interacts with us is very subtle, it's simple, and it's only on reflection that we realize, oh, right, God was there. God was with me in that moment. But the question we have to ask ourselves is, do we actually take the time to stop and actually reflect? Do we take the time to really recognize what God is doing for us? Do we take the time to truly open to what that experience might mean? Because the wonderful thing about God is, if we really could recognize it, He's always with us. He's always making that journey with us. It's never a question of whether God is there. It really is about our opening our eyes to see, our ears to hear, to allow our other senses to recognize sort of that feeling of the presence of the Lord. In a lot of ways, that's really what Lent is about. All the things that we do are really about trying to open our senses to the presence of the living God. Lent is a beautiful season because it's a season of reflecting on how God is working in our life and what that truly means to our life. And again, it can be in such simple ways. It's like my cat coming to lay with me when I pray. For you, it could be just looking at your child and seeing the wonder that God allowed you to be a co-creator in this life and has invited you to raise this life to know him. It could be the wonder of your spouse. 
and what the time you have spent together really means, where God has been in the midst of all of that. It could be just the sharing of friendship and how that journey of friendship has helped you to grow and develop And all of these in so many different ways, we can discover God's presence in our life. We can recognize the truth that he is always with us. Our faith teaches us something powerful in the person of Jesus Christ. And that is simply that God loves us so much that he chose to become one with us. He loves us so much that he sent his son to die for us. He loves us so much that he created salvation history. And we see that through his working with Moses, Abraham, Elijah, with the great women of the Bible, Mary, Mary Magdalene, Elizabeth, Esther, Ruth. In all of these ways, God has journeyed with his people. But it is only when we are willing to reflect on our lives that we can come to discover the truth of that and what that truly should mean for us. Let us truly begin to open to that. God loves you. God desires to be in relationship with you. And God will always be journeying with you. It's not so much that when we can't see God, that God's not there. It's simply we've turned our back on him. But he's standing right behind us, just waiting for us to turn around. Let's turn around. Let us see the Lord. And let us rejoice in the love that he has for us. God bless.